Hey there, it's Dr. Scott McLean, and we're going to be using the i700 intraoral scanner to make a bite plane using my Sprint Ray printer. So the first thing we do, we already have a scan on the computer when we did our digital impression. And what you can see is that we're going to cut these original scan bodies. So these are scan bodies from the on one system. So we're going to cut them off the scanner and then add the new crowns that we just put in this morning. And so these new crowns are in position, tightened down. So now we're just going to have to scan those and send that off to our Sprint Ray printer. So it really doesn't take very long for the scanning to occur because we don't have to do the whole arch again. We've actually used this scan, this is the third time because we did this for planning the implants and getting a template. Then we scanned the implants again uh, to pick up the impression using the intraoral healing scan abutments. And now we're scanning the crowns, which will be put into place. And you can see that the scan is going to be quick and easy. So this is uh, a simple way to pick this up. And we do want the patient to wear a uh, Sprint Ray bite plane. And uh, so this is made very, very quickly. The fact that the scans are kept on a cloud is really quite uh, nice because you can get that scan very quickly and start to manipulate it. And so this is not always the way with different scanner systems. And I, I do like this feature because it allows us to get that STL file and all the data that's around it very quickly. And this was something I got frustrated with one of the other scanners. So you can see the scanner is taking a number of images. You actually have to have the overhead light off when you're scanning. And so she's just scanning that one area on this side and then an area on the other side which is really less than a couple minutes to do this scan. And then we're gonna take that file and use that to make a uh, Sprint Ray bite plane. And so my other dental assistant's gonna take the file and send it off to Sprint Ray. And then they'll be able to send back a design that we're gonna take and put this into the printer. Here's the design. So they made, this is a B splint that we're making on this particular case. And you can see that they send that design back and then we can put this right into the Sprint Ray printer and start to organize it. So this is the platform, so the nest that we're gonna organize how this is gonna be printed. And then we'll take the product, so the Night Guard Firm, and we'll start to print the case and uh, get this done the same day for the patient. Usually this is gonna take only a few hours to really make and uh, the patient can leave with their upper lower bite plane, which is this beast blend. And so as this starts to go, we can see the print is going to take just over an hour for 50 micron print because we want to use a high accuracy print on this particular case. So as the platform comes down and dips into the, the uh, resin, it's going to start to do the DLP printing, which is di digital light projection printing, which is one of the fastest ways to do this. So it starts to move around and there's a laser that's going to kind of do a stamp of resin and uh, this is instead of uh, an SLA type of printer and the SLA printers are more of a tracing printer well this is more of a kind of a stamp of a laser that does a complete layer so as we see it's starting to print it's coming out of the you know this is a time delay of course but it's coming out of the resin you can see that the bite planes are looking pretty good we can see that they're starting to take shape and they've been made by a number of layers. And then um, my technician, Mike, is going to take them off and finish by, you know, washing them and then also doing a post cure and uh, getting this ready for the patient. So this is a pretty quick and fast way to get a bite plane made from an original scan, then modifying that scan getting the proper resin, putting it into the Sprint Ray printer, and then pushing print. So it's pretty uh, amazing technology, fun to do. And you can see that the, uh, you know, this has to be cleaned up a bit, but um, Mike is getting pretty good at doing this. So it's kind of exciting. So there's the two splints, the upper and the lower. And this design was actually made fairly quickly, but it was made by Sprint Ray. So you can make it yourself if you have the software, but you can also send it up and for a very small fee, they'll take that and create the STL file that you need to print. So now Mike almost has this ready, so I have to get back with the patient. 
This is Dr. Scott McLean, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this presentation of a fast make of a Sprint Ray biplane.